Good morning. Good morning. I'm Chief Pamela Smith. We are here to provide an update on the office involved shooting that occurred early this morning here in the 2500 block of Mary and Barry Avenue Southeast. Uh, we are in the very early stages of this investigation and all of the information that I'm going to share with you right now is preliminary. Shortly after 5.30 a.m., our 7th District officers were called to the McDonald's in this block for a report of a crash. Officers res responded and found that a vehicle struck the side of a building causing minor damage. The driver of that vehicle was still inside, however, he was unresponsive. Officers observed a firearm in the driver's possession and called for additional officers to respond to the scene. A short time later, the suspect began moving inside the vehicle. Officers attempted to engage by, ha by giving him verbal commands. He was observed at that time to have a weapon in his possession. And as officers gave him verbal commands to drop the weapon, the suspect grabbed the officer's service weapon. At that time, two of our officers discharged their service weapon, striking the suspect. DC Fire and EMS were already on scene and immediately began rendering care. All life-saving measures were failed. The adult male was pronounced here on the scene. We are working right now to identify the suspect and to identify and notify his next of kin. We have recovered the suspect weapon here on the scene. Thankfully, none of our officers were injured in this incident. Agents from our Internal Affairs Division were, are here conducting the investigation in conjunction with our Criminal Investigation Division as well. This case will be independently reviewed by our United States Attorney's Office. The officers involved did activate their body-worn cameras and that footage is currently being reviewed. The officers have been placed on administrative leave per our departmental policy. And what I will say is that this is yet another reminder of the daily dangers that our officers face protecting the residents and the visitors across the District of Columbia. I will take any questions that you may have at this time. Could you explain better how the uh, person in the car was able to access the weapon? Because you said verbal commands were being given at that time. Uh, from what we know at this point, preliminarily, um, he had a weapon in his lap. It was, a, it was a firearm in his possession in the vehicle. And then he went to grab the officer's weapon? What I, what I stated was yeah. that he uh, was told to drop his weapon. He had his weapon in his hand. He was told to drop the weapon. Our officers um, um, extended their firearm and the suspect grabbed um, his weapon at that time. How many, how many officers fired? There were two officers that discharged their firearm. You said it was found that the vehicle had struck the side of the building. Was that the, the building McDonald's. The McDonald's? Yes, ma'am. And uh, what about toxicology? Are we trying to determine if that was an issue of driving under the influence? Well, we're still in the preliminary stages of the incident. And uh, as you know, OCA, OCME would have to come and, and make those necessary notifications. So at this time, we do not know whether there was any intoxication or anything at this point. So everything happened inside the vehicle, right? Yes, sir, that is correct. Any other questions? Okay, if we have any additional information, we will be sure to make sure we push that information out on our social media sites. Thank you. Thank you.